Hello, family, and welcome. We're Bob and Penny Lord, and we have a super saint to share with you today. Obedience is a word that has gone out of many of our vocabularies. We don't use it anymore. But obedience is something that the Lord was able to use to mold his powerful women in the church. The lady we're going to speak about today embraced obedience. Teresa. Teresa of Avila, a radical sign in our church. As we studied her life, we discovered a woman for all seasons. Rather than a saint, too spiritual and too deep to understand, we found a woman with good common sense, someone not superior to the simple mind, nor too simple for the superior mind. We found a warm, loving mother with an ear and a heart always open to her sisters. Although Teresa was and is truly Catholic, she is a model for non-Catholics as well. Edith Stein, born a Jewess, turned off God as she embraced a life of science in college. After reading St. Teresa's autobiography, she converted to the Roman Catholic Church, died a Carmelite nun and martyr in the gas chambers of Auschwitz, and was proclaimed blessed by John Paul II. Teresa was born on March 28, 1515, in Avila, Spain. It was a time of, of upheaval, with protesters calling rebellion reformation. Again, we come to Christ and how he defends his church. We would be foolish to believe that it was merely a coincidence that Teresa was born the very year Martin Luther came out with his dogma, Salvation Through Faith Alone. Whereas Luther founded a new church based on disobedience, Teresa was to live a radical life of obedience, often under the worst of conditions. 